Jonathan, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, good to be here. Uh, you know, here, here still at the last Sportiva showrooms. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> hey, so next up is the Caracal. And this is a shoe which interests me because I reviewed the Jackal uh, almost a year ago now. And the Jackal has become a shoe that I immediately reach for throughout the sort of the spring and summer months. And then in the winter, autumn and winter, I'll tend to reach for my Mutant more often than not because both have... A good amount of cushioning, but the Jackal in particular is just a really comfortable shoe to run in over longer distances. It, it's amazing in what it does. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And uh, you know, the Jackal was really launched as our dedicated offering to to long or ultra distance runners, uh, especially runners that were were dedicated on um, in terms of uh, racing as well. Uh, and so here with the, with the Caracal, we've actually been offered able to offer a, a quite a similar shoe to the Jackal. Um, but now we're really focusing on a really lightweight, but very, um, very comfortable, uh, long distance, ultra distance training shoe. So it's been really quite cool to be able to, you know, enlarge the, the Jackal family, I guess, if you like. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, kind of a, a similar, uh, similar design in the midsole. Um, but the, the upper part of the shoe is completely different to the Jackal. Because one of the things that's I liked most about the Jackal is it has the enduring, the this the midsole is like it keeps giving, basically. It doesn't feel like it flattens out or just all of a sudden one day loses all bounds. It feels like it sort of keeps going. And funnily enough, I actually put on my Jackals for the first time since autumn the other day because it was the first time it had got dry enough to feel like it was, you know, it was the shoe to use. Um, and Again, having gone from using the Mutant, you can tell the difference. You put your foot in and they feel immediately different on the trail. Yeah, that's right. Look, compared to uh, something like the Mutant, for example, we know that for ultra and long distance running, we need a good amount of um, adaptability, especially on the upper part of the shoe. So we allow for a little bit more, um, more volume in, in this area of the shoe from the, from the forefoot to the, to the midfoot. Uh, and here in the, in the Caracal, we've actually increased that again by using a, a free floating tongue. Um, whereas the Jackal will, will have a, a fixed tongue. Uh, and again, that just gives a little bit more versatility and adaptability to the foot. Um, and of course, you know, talking about the laces, uh, we, 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 we always include um, the option to, to have the, the, the rear uh, lace stay here at the back, again, for people with a, a slightly uh, smaller or narrower ankle um, to be completely comfortable in the shoe. So in terms of the fix, fit is always a crucial aspect. Do you want to say a little bit more as well about the volume in and around things like the forefoot and the rest of it? Yeah, sure. Look, um, you know, knowing the, you know, the, the, the people that run uh, these sorts of distances and, 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 and La Sportiva, for example, uh, we use really a lot our team athletes for, for testing as well. They give us a lot of feedback and, uh, and these are runners that really do a lot of miles uh, and, uh, uh, and a lot of long, long miles and long training, so they can give us some really, uh, really fast and uh, precise feedback about about what works and what doesn't. Uh, and uh, and a lot of the feedback is around having a having a relatively soft and and comfortable upper uh, material, but still with enough support to give you that stability as well. Because you know, it, after all, it's still an off road trail running shoe, and we know that with our increased uh, stack height here on the midsole. Uh, we still need a good amount of support on the upper section. So what we've got here is a, is a completely seamless upper. It's incredibly breathable. We've really focused on having the most breathable, comfortable upper uh, that, that's possible. And in terms of the structure, we've got these very, very hard to see on this video, but we've got, a, got these uh, very thin but welded TPU elements, which really come up from the midsole and then connect directly into the laces. And so they give you that, that good four foot hold. And then around the back of the shoe, we have a nice padded area in the heel area of the shoe, but we include a microfiber, which gives a nice uh, grippiness to the shoe, which really helps to lock the, uh, lock the heel in place. It's especially important for when you're uphill running where uh, sometimes there's a tendency of, of the foot to try and slip out of the shoe. It's two really difficult characteristics because what you're saying is you're like, you want room around the toe box so that your feet can spread as I'm sure they will do after 100 miles or 100k or whatever it is you're running. But at the same time, you don't want too much room so that you've got heel lift because that will result in, well, all sorts of pain. 
<laughs> Very much so. There's always that uh, that fine balance, and of course, as we all know, everybody's feet are, are different. So, even people which which have the same uh, the same foot size might have a quite a different and uh, shape of foot. Uh, they might have a an arch which is more collapsed than other people. So, you know, we, we want a shoe which can can be adaptable as well, and 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 allows that the the most number of people are, are able to be very, very comfortable in the shoe. It's one of the real downfalls of the current climate because obviously a lot of shops uh, running outdoor shops are shut. And one of the first things we try and recommend within any review that we write is that, for instance, I really got on with the Jackal. I really get on with the Mutant. But, well, I'd, I'd hope they fit you because you were probably involved within the design process of each of them. But that doesn't mean that they will fit for everyone. And it's just a case of trying and finding out what's right for you. Oh, very much so. And 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 again, you know, having our athletes to draw on as, as testers is really important. But uh, especially on a shoe like this, we don't want to only use our team athletes because... As we all know, uh, dedicated athletes maybe are a little bit lighter weight. They they run in a style which is probably maybe a little bit more correct than uh, uh, than than your typical amateur runner. So we also have a, have a team of uh, yeah of what we call hobby runners that uh, that are able to test the shoe as well. So we get a good uh, diversity of feedback and and we have a lot of foot shapes out there that uh, <laughs> that can work in the shoe. Hey, and we haven't had a look at the sole yet. How does that differ from things like the Jackal? Yeah, good question. So what we have here, uh, very similar to the Jackal, we have a, a two density EVA midsole, but unlike the Jackal, we, we do not use the uh, Infinite 2 uh, technology in the Caracal. So this is a, a full EVA midsole, um, but you'll still see the, uh, the softer area of uh, EVA that we use for the bulk of the midsole. And then there's a, there's a, a dedicated uh, harder density EVA that we use it just comes like a ring around the back of the shoe. And what that does, because again, we know the shoe is slightly higher riding. And so we want to make sure that the shoe is also very stable as well. So having that higher density around the back there just, just gives you a little bit more stability when you're, when you're running on that uneven terrain. But that's always, again, the catch-22, isn't it? Again, of having that higher um, position is inevitably it brings about a little bit more sort of wobbliness to it, I suppose. Yeah, that, that's completely normal. Um, but we really wanted to make sure this shoe was going to be a super comfortable shoe. Um, you know, of course, at La Sportiva, we offer shoes which work extremely well on incredibly technical terrain. Um, but this is a shoe that we know, you know, especially for its use, which we know will be a really great training shoe uh, and, and quite a versatile training shoe um, that we, we wanted to really concentrate on giving the best amount of cushioning that's, uh, that's possible. And on the underside, in terms of the grip as well, how much are we talking with this? Yeah, so let's take a look at the um, at the other. Oh, uh, I'll pick up another color version for <laughs> just to, just just to show you something different. Uh, these are my two two favorite colors of the caracal. Uh, this one in the men's and this one in the ladies' version. Um, but yeah, looking at the bottom of the shoe. Um, so what we we have here, what we call our all ground outsole. Uh, and this is a really a design of outsole, which is really designed to work on, on a really a wide variety of surfaces. So um, it still has a, a lug height, which is big enough to work on some slippery ground. Um, but also once you're on, uh, on harder, drier ground, uh, it, it, uh, it also has a, good, um, yeah, has a good ride and a good feeling underfoot. Uh, and of course, we also want as much uh, surface area in contact uh, with the ground as possible when you're running on slippery kind of rocks and, and those, those sorts of ground. So there's kind of this, again, you know, it's all about compromise and balance, isn't it, when you're, when you're talking about off-road running, which you don't get on road running at all. It is. I mean, it's interesting to see this because um, I love the Jackal, as you've probably got, uh, got by now. But the interesting thing for me is I'm not actually, uh, I don't race. Uh, I'm certainly not breaking any FKTs or anything like that. And so actually the Caracal sounds like it could be the more appropriate for me in a way as that training shoe as something that's going to really eat up a lot of miles, but give me a lot of support and comfort throughout those miles. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's sort of the intended use for anyone who likes the Jackal, you know, they will sure love the Caracal because, you know, we've actually, you know, just, just that evolution of, of shoe design, we've actually been able to even make the shoe slightly lighter than, than what the Jackal is. There's, there's not much in it, but um, by by sort of being able to continually evolve the shoe, it's nice to be able to keep uh, to keep working on on the design and the sort of the, the next stage of the shoe. 
So do you want to tell us about the drop and the stack height on the Caracal? Yes, look, let's, um, let's dive into some of the numbers here. So, you know, again, you know, we look at the stack height. So the, uh, the height here at the front part of the shoe comes in at 22 millimetres. And at the back part of the shoe here comes in at 29 millimetres. So the difference is seven millimetres and, and that's going to be the drop of the shoe. Um, we briefly mentioned the weight, but um, yeah, to give you the numbers on that, uh, in a size 42, we come in at 290 grams, uh, and in size 38, it's 250 grams. So I'm holding in my hand here a, a size 38. And Which if we just briefly look here at the bottom of the shoe, uh, give you the lug height because uh, you know on on the, on those wet uh, conditions, it's always good to know uh, how much uh, depth you have. And uh, we have a three and a half millimeter lug height here. Uh, and we also include a technology on, on, on all of our mountain running products, pretty much all of them, uh, that we call our impact brake system. And you can see the design of the lugs is kind of a little bit irregular. Uh, and that's really designed that when you're running on uneven ground, that you have the most lug in contact with the ground as possible. So, so that's a technology which, is, uh, which we've, we've kind of developed in hiking, but is, uh, it works really well on our running shoes. It is amazing that you've managed to produce a training shoe that is lighter than the Jackal, which is the race shoe. <laughs> yeah, look, we're, uh, we, we, we're talking hairs here. It's not, it's not a big amount for sure. Um, but what the Jackal will, will give you over and above the Caracal is uh, a little bit of extra support. Uh, we, we really felt that for a racing shoe, we really wanted to make sure there was a, a good amount of confidence uh, and, and stability in the shoe. So with the Caracal, we've been, we've been happy to concentrate more on the breathability side of the shoe, but still come up with the best uh, compromise in terms of you know, having enough stability as well. I guess the cool thing is, is from a consumer, from an end user perspective, uh, well, if you're that keen, for instance, if you're a fan of the Jackal, it sounds like you'll be a fan of this, buying both for training purposes, for racing purposes. I mean, um, gone are the days now where people have one pair of shoes that just do everything. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, um, and in terms of off-road running, um, there's a real relevancy to being able to produce a shoe which is, is really useful and really works well on, on different types of terrain. So, you know, now at La Sportiva here, we've been able to enlarge our whole range where we can actually offer shoes which really fill some quite um, specific niches and, and, and specific uses. And, you know, one, one of those shoes is a vertical kilometer running shoe, which is really a dedicated race shoe for, for very short but uphill and very steep races. So it's an example of where we're able to produce, especially for our team athletes, uh, a really dedicated product, which really is specific to a, a certain type of terrain. It must be so much, well, either fun to design or a, or a one big nightmare, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, look, it's fun, you know, and we and it's a quite a small team, but really, really passionate team here. So we're all sports uh, lovers and, and runners here in the office, and and when we walk outside at the end of the day, we have the mountains right uh, right on our doorstep. So you know, the perfect testing. Amazing. I think that is everything, Jonathan. Although, as I said before, I'm sure there's a load of other things we could cover, but. Um, but thanks well, for taking us through all of that. It's been great to hear. And I really hope that I'll be able to review those. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. You know, get your hands on them. Um, 